Hi everybody, my name's Ros Cuthbert and I'm an artist and a tutor at the Art Shade in Winscombe in the UK. A lot of my students ask me how to wet stretch a sheet of watercolour paper, so I'm going to demonstrate that today. I'm just going to switch over to the other camera. And here you can see a piece of Bockingford watercolour paper. 140 pound weight. It's an A3 sheet and Bockingford is the same sort of texture on both sides. So what I'm going to do to start with is I'm going to wet that sheet with a sponge and some clean water. I'm going to wet it completely. Wet the whole surface. Being careful not to leave out any dry patches, there's a little dry patch up there. If the, water, if the surface isn't shining, then it isn't wet at this stage. So just to make sure it's wet all over. Yep, that's wet all over. Um, I think I could show you the shininess. There we go. So that becomes the wrong side. I'm going to turn that sheet of paper upside down and I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. You can see it's already curling. That's because the water on the back of the paper has, has already started to be absorbed. And when the paper absorbs, uh, it um, expands. So that's a sign that the paper is beginning to expand. It's expanding on the back and it will do the same. It should flatten out a bit when I wet this side. Okay, so um, now I just have to wait um, for that surface water, that shine on the surface of the paper to disappear and for the surface water to be fully absorbed into that sheet of paper. And at that point, the paper will be, um, it'll be bigger, it'll have expanded a little bit. So that's what we want. So I'm now, we're going to wait a little while, I'll pause the video and I'll see you in a few minutes. Okay, so that took about two minutes for the paper to fully absorb the surface water. It's now no longer shiny, but it is soft and damp. And so I'll lay that down there. If it wrinkles a lot and you need to press it out gently with your fingertips, it's fine to do so. Make sure you don't bruise the paper with a ring or your fingernails though, because it's very uh, soft at this stage. So the next thing is to tape it down while it is wet and fully expanded. So I've got my little washing up sponge and my ramekin dish and uh, I'm going to add some water to that until the water just comes to the top of the sponge when I press it. That's the sort of uh, amount of water you need. So it just comes to the top when you, when you uh, finger pressure the top. Okay, so the type of tape I'm using is gum strip. It is water soluble gum on one side, it's brown paper, and I need about an inch or a couple of centimeters, three centimeters longer each, at each side than the sheet of paper is. So I have two longer strips for the longer side. And two shorter ones, one there, two. So it's important to keep the tape away from the water because this is water soluble and it's easy <laughs> to ruin a, a, a roll of gum strip if you get it wet. So I'm going to put that well out of the way now and I'm going to start to tape down my damp sheet of paper. Okay, so the water's ready. So I'm getting this sheet of paper, this sheet of tape, and I'm going to place it just on the sponge where the water is. I'm going to press down with my finger and pull that gum strip side down into the water. Then it's already curling, you can see. And um, I'm going to tape my paper 
to about a centimeter overlap, something like that. There. So taping it down smoothly with my fingertips and making sure that it's in contact with both the board and with my sheet of paper. So let's do this side. So here we are again, this is how I do it. I press the, the tip of the sheet down and then I put a finger across the paper and press it down. And because it's come in contact with that moisture on the top of the sponge, it's nice and damp. So you only want to pull the gum through the, the um, sponge, over the sponge once, because the gum will easily float away off the surface of the tape. And uh, then when you stretch it up, you'll find, because the gum is gone, there's uh, no tack left. So just pull it through once like that, and then uh, about half, a, half an inch or a, or a centimeter overlap. I can just see it through the tape because it's just slightly translucent. I'm making sure it's nicely sealed and in contact with the board and the paper. And here's the last one. So once again, finding a dryish finger, pressing it flat and drawing it through. Um, and then um, lining it up and smoothing it flat. There we go. Now it's stretched, but it's wet. So you have to keep that flat. Don't, don't lean it against the wall or against the radiator or anything like that. Let it dry flat and let it dry um, slowly in a, a cool, coolish room on, on the floor or on a sideboard or something. Out of the way, don't let the cat sit on it. And um, then in an hour or an hour and a half, you'll find it will be completely flat. You can see little ruckles in there at the moment, um, but, but I'm not worried about those because I know that this paper is going to contract and tighten. And when it's dry, it will be like a drum. So we'll pause the video again and I'll show you this when it's dry. Okay, so um, we've left the paper drying for just over an hour now. And as I think you can see, it's pretty well flat and almost dry. It's just a little bit cold to touch, which suggests that there's still a little bit of dampness there. But um, give it another hour and that should um, be a little bit warmer to touch and you'll and that's the way that you can tell it's completely dry. It's a good idea to do it in the evening and leave it overnight. Um, and then in the morning it should be stretched and ready to go. So I'll just turn over to the other camera. And um, just, to, just to sum up, it's very important to wait long enough for the paper to absorb the water. If you try to hurry that, you'll find that uh, your paper may well pull out. It'll carry on expanding and may well pull out of the gum strip as it's drying. Another possible problem is if you have uh, over wet the gum strip, uh, if you over wet it, you may well uh, cause all the gum to float off the surface, the, the gum surface. And then um, also, of course, it won't adhere to the paper and then of course the paper will pull out as it dries. As it dries, the paper uh, contracts surprisingly strongly. And so that's why it's important to have it well, firmly uh, um, sealed together with uh, a little bit of finger pressure when you apply the gum strip. So um, uh, the gum strip is, by the way, two inches. It's a two inch roll of gum strip that I use. I prefer to use a wider, wider one because I frequently uh, wet stretch a whole A1 sheet and have been known to wet stretch bigger sheets of paper than that. So um, I hope that that will help you see your way to successful paper stretching. If you have any queries or uh, comments or further questions, please get in touch with me on the Art Shed Winscombe 
Facebook page, and uh, that is uh, um, W I N S C O M B E for Winscombe. So uh, I hope to see you there, and happy painting. <laughs>